Hello guys, in this video I am gonna show you how to install Windows 11 with the help of a leaked ISO file in your PC. If you are facing the issue because of TPM 2.0, please do watch my another video, the link is provided in the description. Once the ISO file is downloaded, there are two options for us to install the OS. One is you can burn the ISO into a bootable USB disk and you can uh, install the OS from the boot menu. Otherwise, you can simply install the daemon tools and you can open the ISO file with daemon tools. It will create a virtual disk for you. Inside the virtual disk, you will be seeing the setup files that is required to be installed. You can just click on the setup and you can proceed with Windows 11 update. Installation is very similar to how we install the OS in Windows 10 and it doesn't ask any key or some anything if you have already a valid key in the Windows 10. One difference between Windows 10 and Windows 11 is um, so the drivers. So in Windows 10 first we have to install the operating system then from the Windows update option we need to download the required drivers automatically from Windows but in Windows 11 uh, before installing the OS itself we can choose to download the required drivers from online and those drivers will be installed along with the operating system say for example uh, we will be definitely installing HD graphics driver uh, that is required for every device so those drivers will be automatically taken care by Windows 11 at the time of installing the OS itself the installation is very straightforward you can just follow the instructions on the screen and you can proceed with the installation so now let's talk about uh, TPM the TPM is nothing but um, trusted platform module basically it is a hardware that can be installed in your motherboard separately or it comes along with AMD or Intel processors so in AMD it is called as FTPM so in the BIOS menu you will be seeing something like FTPM AMD FTPM uh, LPC route to LPC FTPM so basically AMD FTPM is provided by AMD that is available in the processor itself and in Intel it is called as platform trust tech technology um, so these are the different teams but both are same um, so you need to enable that uh, uh, FTPM for installing the Windows 11 uh, so basically FTPM uh, uh, so when I enable FTPM it generates a unique key uh, that unique key will be used uh, along with my Windows login pin so if for example if I have set up the unique key and the pin then when I take my hard disk to another computer and try login from there the it will not be allow allowing us to login um, so basically that key and pin are both are required um, so it provides some terms of a uh, hardware security um, so this is very good that windows 11 made it mandatory there are other good things also about tpm um, so this is what i experienced then when i when i when i enable the ftpm then I set up the hello pin then I disabled from the BIOS when I tried to login I was not able to login only when I provided my uh, Microsoft credentials I was able to login um, if your PC is not connected to internet that is also not possible so be careful with this with that guys installation is completed and uh, we can see the Windows 11 got installed let's switch to our PC okay so I'm now I'm recording from PC so on click of the Windows button this box appears where you have the list of apps Microsoft Store etc um, so these are pre-installed apps and when you click on search you will be able to type and search any anything you want basically it, you can also select apps documents web you can search anything you want specifically and in the more you can see settings videos people etc and this is really good and uh, there are also widgets it will fetch the weather and display to you and all the news recent news that it will display to you and if you see the taskbar settings the taskbar align can, alignment can be left or center if you align left it will look like a traditional windows if you align center it is going to look like a mac based machine um, so windows is providing all this flexibility to us and we can show or hide the widgets button we can show or hide the desktop button which is already there in windows 10 and uh, these most of the settings are there already in windows 10 uh, i don't know what is that badges on taskbar buttons um, okay so show windows in workspace button this is really useful during the presentations you can write uh, there uh, do try that 
and uh, show touch keyboard button that is a virtual keyboard and task view button that is a task view um, that is appearing now in the bottom uh, so so this is a new feature that we can link our phone with the pc uh, and you know guys we can all also run android apps in windows 11 uh, so um, uh, when microsoft had tie up with amazon amazon store and amazon store you can from that you can download android apps and you can natively run on windows 11 so before we used to download the third party softwares and uh, we we it, there will be lot of troubles running android apps now with this uh, with this windows we can easily run Instagram or anything we can just copy paste our photos there and it will be very helpful for us guys now I am connecting my phone with this PC you just go to uh, that link and the app will be downloadable from your phone from your phone you need to download the app and you need to give some permissions you need to grant permissions to access your call log your messages your notifications etc then once you scan this qr code with windows machine then uh, it will be connected with bluetooth uh, then from the bluetooth you can access your call logs and ev everything uh, this is basically like a smart band so how we connect our smart band uh, with our uh, mobile it is similar to that and uh, you need to uh, grant access to everything uh, that windows is asking um, then once you connect you will be able to receive calls from the pc itself and you can answer the calls from pc itself you can decline the call from pc itself you can read the messages uh, you can see the notification so you can see the whatsapp messages and you can also reply to those messages uh, this is really a good feature that windows is introducing with windows 11 and uh, once that mobile is paired, you need to en make sure that you are enabling Bluetooth. Then you need to scan this QR code. Then you are all set up. Um, then you need to go back to the settings. You will be seeing this your phone. In your phone, you can see um, there are notification messages, photos, and calls. And pin this to app to taskbar so that you can easily open this app. And uh, if you see the um, if you see that it is also displaying the battery percentage also for you and you can delete access the photos photos also from you can see the photos of your phone from the pc itself easily and uh, there are some settings to um, there are some settings to hide the sensitive contents also i have not tried that yet uh, messages once we do the refresh uh, your messages will be coming via bluetooth to the pc there you can see the messages and uh, one pain with my phone was i need to e edit each and every message i have to open each message and see the content but here it is very simple i just need to click on the message it will be opening and we can also reply from here so it is really helpful for those who are working from home uh, who kept their phone far away from their computer and they are in a call uh, if, if some nonsense calls comes you can easily disconnect from your pc itself and if any message is coming you don't have to worry that you can see that from your computer itself so this is the build version also we are receiving updates from this leaked iso file i'm going to test few apps um, whether it is running i'm going to open visual studio uh, the visual studio uh, will usually take more time to load if you have a big project or something but here it, it it performs similar to windows 10 how windows 10 was performing it is almost similar to that i did not face any lag or any issues mm, and uh, the iis express also was running fine without need to install any dotnet modules or something uh, since maybe because i choose the option to not delete the files and i also tested a game gta 5 which i previously installed in uh, windows 10 machine usually with windows update guys when we updated from windows xp to windows 7 there were a lot of games that were not supported this is not the case with windows 11 uh, so the games are running fine with the same settings and uh, there is no issue the game is not crashing there was no lag i faced the game was loading as expected in time and as you can see the game was very clear uh, maybe it is because of the graphics card but in terms of the os there was no delay uh, there was no delay the resources are managed very well and as you can see i am playing this gtfa game on 60 fps um, yeah my graphics card is uh, gtx 10 ti overclocked edition 
um, in this you can easily run uh, GTA 5 games and as you can see it performs very well um, so in terms of performance I would say Windows 11 is faster than Windows 10 because in Windows 10 whenever I click on the search box it the search box used to take a lot of time maybe because of the Cortana app I don't know but in Windows 11 it is real really fast when you just click on the search button um, it, the, you can start to type uh, you don't have to um, wait for some few few seconds for that so that is really great um, so as you are seeing the uh, it, the game was running fine uh, there was no issues with any of the devices like uh, any of the, uh, like keyboard not supported or mouse not supported those kind of issues are not there uh, but uh, there are some crashes when i was running uh, obs uh, software when i did something when i move something from the widgets to the desktop i was facing some issues so i am not recommending you guys to download this immediately um, uh, just wait for the official version i will post uh, if i get any issues in another video thanks for watching guys please subscribe to my channel and support thank you